If you've ever wondered what Game Genie codes actually do when you use them with your cartridge games, we're going to find out. Today's featured game is Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo. There are six codes in the early Game Genie book for FF2. We'll take a look at a few of them. Also note that there are two revisions of this game, and that means that program code can be in a different place depending on which version you own. That also means different Game Genie codes. That's the reason you will see alternate codes, or try these codes if the other ones didn't work, sometimes in your code manuals. I'll provide both sets of Game Genie codes for any codes that we change or create. Code 1 says almost infinite hit points can make big monsters and sometimes normal monsters invincible. Let's try it out in battle at the start of the game. If the imp manages to do some amount of damage when attacking, you can see that members of the party don't take that damage, just like the description of Code 1 claimed. This cheat only took a single Game Genie code. Well, that's convenient. How does it work? Hit point damage has three steps. Get the current HP, subtract the damage, and save the new current HP. What this code does is change the instruction in code that should save the new HP and replaces it with the instruction to get the current HP again. Instead of get subtract save, our code does a get subtract get, and nothing happens to our hero's HP. As for the invincible monsters warning, I guess some code used for damaging some monsters, or perhaps phases of battle for said monsters, uses the same HP logic. We'd have to investigate more to find out. Oh, and by the way, code 4, magic power doesn't go down, works the same way. Next up, let's take a look at codes 2 and 3, and we'll dive into these a bit more. Get 150 gold after each battle, or get 255 gold after each battle. Well, that's fun, but these values are a little low. Let's see how they work. First of all, you'll notice that the codes are really close in their values. In fact, two of the three are equal. The middle of the three is the only one that is different, and only the front half at that. This is the area that specifies how much gold we get. You can change these two characters to various combinations of Game Genie letters and numbers to alter how much gold you receive after battle. If we try it out, the battle window still reports the original amount of gold won. Fortunately, the code that actually updates the gold in our inventory still works. How does this work? Why do we need three codes to change how much gold we get? When you win a battle, the game grabs the amount of gold you should win based on the enemies you defeated and adds it to your inventory. It has to look it up using an address. The instruction takes one byte, and the address is specified using two bytes. We have to modify all three of these with the Game Genie, so three Game Genie codes. We've come along to say, don't look it up, let me tell you what it should be. That's a different instruction, and we only need half the space to tell it how much gold we receive. Therefore, this second half is no longer used, so we have to turn it into nothing, so the game doesn't get confused. Three consecutive pieces of code have to be changed, so we gotta use three Game Genie codes to get it done. But why can we only raise our winnings here at the beginning of the game to 255 gold? Well, the maximum amount of gold allowed in your inventory requires 24 bits of space. In other words, 3 bytes. This amount of space allows the game to store a maximum of 16.7 million gold if it wanted to do so. Unfortunately, FF2 caps gold at a measly 9.99 million. Okay, that's, that's still a lot though. The gold one from battle is added to your inventory, and each of the three bytes has to have the addition performed separately from lowest to highest, eight bits at a time. These Game Genie codes only mess with the addition for the lowest byte. That's it. That limits us to changing our gold one from battle to within a range inside of 0 to 255. If we wanted something larger, we would need to move up to this middle addition bracket and use a completely different trio of Game Genie codes. That said, the descriptions for these two codes are incorrect. This should say, get at least 150 gold, or at least 255 gold, because if you win a battle and gain more than 255 gold, guess what? The middle and upper additions will still roll in parts of that gold you legitimately won in battle. And if that's not enough, once you start winning more than 256 gold from battle, your Game Genie codes may cause you to win less than you would have without the codes. The reason has to do with binary addition, but that's not important right now. So these codes help early in the game, but you know what would be better is if we modified either the middle edition or the upper edition so we can really roll up the gold. How about I give you some better codes to do just that? We'll make the same types of changes that our codebook told us to make, but move our cheat a few lines down in the game code. So, here are some codes for the middle section. 
The first set will give you at least 256 gold after battle, and the second set will give you at least 65,280 gold after battle. This 30 gold we won is added as part of the lowest third, so it gets rolled into our inventory. 256 guaranteed from our Game Genie plus 30 is 286. Likewise, 65,280 guaranteed from our Game Genie plus 30 is 65,310. Does that make sense? As far as we're concerned, it's one big number. As far as logic is concerned, it needs to be added in three different parts. Still not enough? How about we modify the upper edition? This first set will give you at least 65,536 gold after battle, and the second will basically make sure you always have 9.99 .99 million gold after battle. Easy. So there's a little taste of how the Game Genie is used to reprogram some of Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo. Perhaps we can dissect and modify codes for other Super Nintendo games. Let me know. And if you want to dive a bit deeper into how code works on older systems, check out the Behind the Code playlist here on Displaced Gamers. That's it for Game Genie Uncorked. Catch you next time. <laughs>